You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say, poachers are definitely better than archers. What the f are you talking about? The archers are so much better! I'm just saying we're much faster, we have longer range. Shut up! Let's settle this now! Welcome back everybody to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I'm IGP and today we're going to be busting some myths. There are a lot of people saying that this particular unit is better than this particular unit, that in this scenario this person would win or this team would win. Also things like can a cannonball hit another cannonball and neutralize themselves? We're going to find out today by putting some of these theories to the test and running a few scenarios in the sandbox mode. If you guys are excited and want to see more, let me know by hitting the like button as well as commenting down below. If you need any reason to hit that like button, do it because this game is totally accurate. So we're going to open up the sandbox and take a look at one that seems really interesting to me. Do the cannonballs collide with each other and can that prevent them from hitting each other? Let's go ahead and test that out. I'm going to put the cannon crews as close as possible. Just lining it up with the word Spearman right there, right at the edge. And then uh, hit play. Let's see who wins. Now I've been told that, uh, okay, so it looks like Red's probably going to win this one. <laughs> Why he fell over, I will not know. That literally, he had literally no outside influence to land that way. What the hell? Let's try it again. Okay, they like to come in very strangely. Let's see. Do the cannonballs. Oh my goodness, they do. Myth confirmed. <laughs> but blue one. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. I w This actually brings up another myth. I was told that the red team will always win when you have an even... Scenario. So if you have one cannon crew over here, one cannon crew over there, then the red team will always win. So that's strange to see the blue win in an even split. Although it was pretty cool to see the cannonballs bounce off each other. That is awesome. So they could negate. Okay, red won that one. Strange. Okay, so I guess it's just a tiny... I guess it depends on how they land. See, because they spawn in the air and then they land and then their bounce could be affected. We don't really know. I don't know if we can test that. Actually, we probably could bring that to bring that to a test too. Let's put down one peasant and another peasant and see who's going to win. So they both get their attacks off pretty much at the exact same time. They're over here making out who wins. Blue. Okay, blue won that one. Let's try it one more time. Let's see. We're going to run this a few times to see if uh, it's going to change. Because I imagine maybe it's like blue wins, then red wins because it's an even split. But Or it's a 50-50 chance of it happening. It just so happens to be blue. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so red does not have priority and does not win. So, therefore, you lose. Now, the next myth that I've been told about is that a peasant can escape two charging chariots straight at him and he can just walk right past them i don't know if that's true i don't know the positioning i have to put them in but i'm just going to put them in the middle and the chariots i'll put pretty much towards the middle aiming right there so let's go ahead and see if this is a thing all right chariots are on their way pretty pretty certain he's going to get hit yeah i don't know i guess i guess maybe if i put them a little bit wider that's possible let's go ahead and see let me put them real close top corner bottom corner play Okay, so now they might miss. They might go right past him. There we go. Hold on a second. I just had a crazy idea. Can the blue win? Can the blue win if they collide with each other and kill each other? Is that a thing? Let's see. Okay, so they're definitely going to miss. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Aww. I don't know how much force it takes to kill a chariot, but... That looked pretty convincing to me. Let's try a different outcome. Let's see if it'll see if it'll work this time. Come on, man. Oh, you're gonna get hit, dude. He had a hard time getting getting his leg up to walk. Oh, yeah. See, now they're gonna Okay, so the red. Oh, oh! He's living! He's living! Ah! Oh, where's the red guy? How is he still operating? He like disappeared completely. So it's possible. It's definitely possible. I'm actually trying to think of a scenario right now to uh, have the red team kill themselves by accident and then have the blue team win with just a peasant. Let's try it. I'm thinking maybe a ballista aimed and shooting. Come on. Oh, it's too late, too late. What is he shooting at? Okay, he's shooting at him. Okay, so that didn't work out too well. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one where he would shoot immediately. Maybe just literally right here. He'll shoot right away. And that will be enough to... Ah! Uh... Oh! He took forever to line it up. Come on. Ha! Oh, okay. So he definitely hit it, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Let's try two ballistas. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going off on a tangent for this, but this seems interesting now. 
to try to see if... Okay, so he can survive the two first attacks of the chariot. But uh, after that, it's pretty much done. And the ballistas take a long time to load up. Maybe if I put... Maybe if I put the chariots all the way back in the corner. But that's going to give them enough time to charge straight at them. So I don't know. I mean, I could set up a better scenario where they get hit. Ooh! So close! Yeah, they wouldn't have gotten hit anyway. Okay, so let's try right here. Okay, they might miss. They might miss. Oh, no, he got hit. Okay, so I don't think there's an ever, ever a scenario where that could happen. I mean, I guess it could. I don't think there's ever a scenario where one peasant can win against an army of something other than just one peasant. I mean, it's possible against, like, three other peasants, maybe. And I'm trying to think. Maybe it would be better for a cannon crew to shoot. Because maybe they load up faster. Probably not. Ooh, they hit each other, though. They hit each other. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man. They are just circling around. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, he hit the red guy. Oh, right in the face. I'm telling you, the ballista can do this, man. You need more time to load that thing up. Okay, so, oh, oh, the wheel got him on the heel, on the Achilles tendon. That's got to be super fucking painful. All right, we're going to give this one more shot just to see if the random seed will help. But uh, he looks like he's trying to avoid. There we go, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Okay. Is oh, red guy's getting hit. Red guy's getting hit. Oh no, no, <laughs> so close. Oh, it's never gonna happen. Anyway, let's move on to another scenario. We're gonna solve this thing once and for all. Who is better, archers or poachers? I already know the answer, but I'm gonna prove it to you for those who are questioning the legitimacy of it. So I'm gonna put down all archers on the blue side because I hate blue. And then all poachers on the red side because I know we're gonna win. That was a pretty good straight line. Damn, I almost had that one try. All right, here we go. Let's test it out. There's a lot of people, but uh, it should be good enough. They all walk pretty closely. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, it is a storm of arrows. Okay, so the archers aren't doing too bad. They just take too long to shoot again. It's like they have to reload or it's like a crossbow or something. Yeah, they got annihilated. Poachers win in every scenario. Now we can also put it down to just one guy. Let's put it down to one poacher versus one archer. And you will still get the same result because the archer sucks. Now, actually, I don't know. This might be a difference. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. But I imagine, yeah, he's probably going to miss... You're going to miss two. Okay, you might... Oh. <laughs> the archers not only have that long reload time, but the arrows travel so short of a distance and slowly that there's no way they could kill anyone. So that settles that argument, guys. Poacher is the best, and also it costs less than half of the price. So if you're playing the campaign, if they add more levels in the future, definitely look towards the poacher, unless they change it and make the archer a little bit better. But uh, I think it's kind of funny that that's the way it is. So I hope they leave it. Also, there's been debates on whether the ballista or the catapult is better. We both know that the, we all know that the cannon crew is kind of jonky and they don't really work as expected. So we're going to put those to the test. The ballistas versus the catapults. It's going to put a whole continuous line of them and then catapults on this side because I like the ballistas better anyway. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and play it out. It's really bloomy. Do you guys see that? It's very bloomy. Okay, so here we go. This is a nice little scenario. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. Jeez. They took forever to shoot, though. That's their own fault. That is their own fault. Okay, so we got none of the catapults are down. Or might look like two of them. Three of them are down. The people are still holding on to them, though. Okay, so this is a tight battle. Actually, they're pretty even. It looks like the guys, I don't know what they're firing at. It doesn't look like they can turn. Oh, they can't turn because they're too close together. Okay, this might have been a bad setup. <laughs> Okay, well, ballistas win in that scenario, but then again, they aren't, the catapults can't move like that. So let's redo this, space them out pretty evenly. Perfect. Okay, now let's see who will win. Three on three, probably going to be the catapults because they can get their f their shots off first. If they each aimed for the ones that are in front of them, they might have won. But uh, then again, the, the AI for these guys, they go in their own little world and they freaking do what, Jesus Christ, <laughs> that guy is gelatin. Okay, so we're looking, we're looking like, yeah, blue annihilated. As long as they can move, the catapults are where it's at. Now, the difference is, obviously, you don't want to only use the catapult. The difference is, obviously, the ballista, freaking, uh, they blow up. So, they'll, they'll kill everyone. 
Now, there has also been this rumor spreading around on a few other people's videos as well, saying that the farmer has a like 0.0001% chance of being the chicken man, because when I made the chicken man video, when I actually beat the boss on level 10, everyone was saying, hey, that was just a farmer. And I'm like, nah, no, 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 no. The farmers look like this. Let me show you what the farmers look like. They have pitchforks. They're just angry villagers ready to destroy whoever. I'm actually curious to see who's going to win this one. But I'm going to put a bunch of farmers down, put it to the test. I don't know that percentage, like how many people I got to put down to see if it'll even turn into a chicken man. But we're just going to keep trying and trying. And eventually, maybe we'll have, we'll have it. And at, after a certain period of time, I'm just going to give up. But let's put down a bunch of farmers and a bunch of farmers. Let's see if one of these become the chicken man. I think it just broke the game. Oh my god. Are any of these chicken men? I'm at one frame a second right now. No, none of these, none of these are chicken men. Uh, holy crap, get rid of that. Let's put, <laughs> let's be a little bit more realistic with this. That's enough. Okay, doesn't look like anybody's a chicken man. Try it again. No chicken man. No chicken man. No, uh, the chicken man. A few more times. No chicken men. No chicken men. No chicken men. Let me add a few more. No chicken men. No chicken man. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is busted. I, I would assume that at one point it would be, but uh, that just seems like some crazy rumor that people like to say. Like, it's not even a bad thing. Like, I don't mind, like, I've had this discussion before. I don't mind there being rumors on games and such, like this. For instance, you know, 0.001% chance of that happening. Because it actually brings back a lot of memories of when you were a child, when you were a child, and some of you might still be children now, but when I was a kid and we were playing games, there weren't, you know, you didn't have, like, all these cheat engines and stuff available, or, like, uh, you had, we had, like, Game Shark, and that was pretty much it. And that was later in my gaming uh, time as a kid. But before, you were literally told about these myths or these weird things that could happen in games if you do a certain thing, like Missing No in the Pokemon series. So it, it's nice to see that, that people are still doing that, but then you have all these people who are like, well, no, I checked the game code store and it's not possible for that to be a thing. And then just kind of ruins the whole idea because it actually made it interesting. Look, I made content on it. Like, hey, let's test it out. Let's just see if it's a thing. I don't know. For some reason, I feel a little bit differently than a lot of other people do about that. But if you agree, you know, good. <laughs> if you don't, good. Anyway, what I want to do to end this episode is I want to go ahead and put down the ultimate battle. Now, the ultimate battle has been described by a lot of other people in the game as just having one or multiple of every single type of thing. A really good setup on each side, and I think I'm going to do that. I want to make it even and see which side wins. Okay, so I think I put together the relatively most awesome uh, battle scenario. Now, I don't know the formation has any effect, or even if I'm doing the formation correctly, a lot of you guys are probably going to critique how I've done it, but whatever. I put the chariots up front. These are these uh, big guys up here, um, right here in the corners. You can't see my cursor, but, uh, and then you got the ballistas, cannons, all this stuff in the back, archers in the back. Then you get this line of shields, spears, uh, and every other footman you can possibly see. Now, this is adjusted because the uh, the FPS wouldn't allow me to show you a bigger battle, but this is kind of where we're at. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see which side wins. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so it's still relatively laggy, but I think this is a good place uh, to set the camera and just watch the battle ensue. Okay, so we got a few glitches. Uh, that's always a good thing. I can't honestly tell who's winning, but this is an awesome battle. Look at this shit. <laughs> this is an awesome battle right now. Okay, cannonball. Okay, so basically the catapults are owning this entire field. They are just smiting. We got one lone shield guy over here who might actually be the victor in all of this. He's heading towards it. Oh, we got two. Okay. Where are they all coming from? We got backup. We still got two ballist ballistas. <clears throat> still got two ballistas on red team. I think we're okay. We have, uh, what are they shooting at over here? We have a shield guy over here that's still... Oh, we have blue guys over here. I see. Okay. Oh, oh, he got sniped. Dude, he is hiding so hardcore, but he's dead now. <laughs> they really didn't want to. Where is the blue guy? Oh, how did they get here? Did they walk? We're gonna, red team is obviously going to win this battle, but dude, look at this massacre. Massacre. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Okay, now the blue guy's running. He's on the run. It's always the shield guys that last forever. This one is going to take forever. Now we got two people, though. Uh, one guy still hugging the wall. He can't let it go. 
and then there we go red victory fantastic all right so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it here thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do like share favorite and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see next what else i could do with the sandbox i believe the sandbox has its limitations in the sense that i will eventually do everything that you guys could propose so if you have any other ideas until the alpha is released or more updates come let me know in the comment section below anyway thanks again for watching guys i love you all and i'll see you in the next one bye bye